Hey everybody, this is Tasteless bringing you another ladder game here. Um, this time it's going to be Motive versus Rush. I'm loving Rush's ID here, ASL 17 champ Rush. <laughs> um, ASL is on. So do join us uh, for the new season. Uh, get the year started off right with some StarCraft 1. We are on one of our um, maps from before, Neo Dark Origin. So this map does have a back pathway. I'm going to remove this here. That can be mined out and give you access um, into their main. It sometimes plays a role in this matchup. But the most important feature of this map... Oops, I just turned it off. Sorry, guys. It are the bridges. The three bridges here. And that in, on almost any matchup, if you're on one side of the bridge, it's very hard for them to get onto the other side of the bridge. So center control is huge. Um, as far as this matchup goes, I mean, look, Rush is the favored player here. There's just no denying it. I think Motive can win. I think he's a strong uh, opponent, but I mean, Rush has really kind of proven to be, I'd say, the most dynamic Terran that we have nowadays. Obviously, Light is still a god, and, and Royal has really um, come into his own here. So, this is pretty typical. It's cheesy, but cheese is typical in this matchup uh, if you only have one spawn on each side. It's going to be the gas deal. So, the idea with this, and really, um, this has been around for a while, but it, it does seem like out of all the players I've casted, Bisu probably does this the most. But it's a gateway on the low ground where you have zealots that can continuously put on pressure. The Terran has to take the gas back. Um, there's a couple different, like, forks in the build for Terran here. One is... <coughs> excuse me. One is um, you you take this back as fast as possible, get your own gas. The other is that you try to expand and, and reclaim your gas later. A third is you actually make two barracks and let them keep the gas, and you all in. Um, a couple years ago, it seemed like the all-in was the way to do it. I think that was mostly because of what Flash was doing. Um, but it seems like nowadays people want to play more conservatively. The reason why Protoss puts this down here is even having the gateway here instead of, like, here, the Zealot gets there that much faster. It just puts a little bit more pressure onto the Terran. And so this is a smart response Terrans have come up with. Damn, moving shot from the SCV. I love it. He's going to put an, uh, an eBay down here because that way the Protoss can't make a Nexus. And so the Zealot has to come in here with this and, and, and try to deny that. Uh, one Zealot can't fight this many Marines, but he can force the Marines to chase him. And then this gas is going to be recovered a little bit later. It looks like it's just now going to go down. Will he actually retake it? He does. Okay. Some people don't. But he is going to retake it and basically play his own passive game. Generally, uh, from everything that I understand, I am still learning this. Uh, <laughs> as people are still, you know, unpacking the game even today. It seems like a third base is the right way to play for Protoss. But we'll see what motive has for us here. Another thing that can happen from the Protoss' side is that you can do the Zealot run-by. Once you have this many Zealots, you can basically just let the, let them, their shields tank and go right up into the main and just keep doing damage. And that's what we're going to have here. So he runs right up. This, of course, forces the Marines out. There's the same number of Zealots as there are Marines. So he's going to control this really nice. Look at this. There's so many workers getting killed here. Really beautiful play here by Motive. He's going to try to do, I think, a Yui here. Again, you know the Marines. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What just happened here? You're kidding me. He's going to kill every Marine. Oh, He gets that one, too. Now he just wants to try to deny this... Uh, well, he was going to try to deny the factory. It didn't quite work. What's happening back here? We've got the core. We've got the second gas coming down here. We've got the robo. Robo before Dragoon range is pretty typical uh, when you get a game like this. He's got the ramp blocked here. 
Remember that the Terran doesn't know what the Protoss is going to do. I mean, it could be a Robo. It could be a DT rush. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could be up to. So keeping that ambiguous is key. Now, for Terran, we're getting the two factories down here. That first Dragoon is going to pop out. And I guess it's not going to be a fast third. I guess this makes sense. Now, will it be Observer or will it be Shuttle? For Terran, what is this? Terran Armory coming down. So, Rush wants to slow play it. By the way, I think Rush has been so good at just kind of arm twisting these Protosses when he plays against them. I think a lot of people, you know, feel like the Protoss can abuse the Terran early, but the way that Rush has played has always impressed me. So, the Vulture's gonna be out on the map. He's trying to figure out, okay, is this a three base, three base play? Is this a two base play? We've also had Carrier Tech on two bases. Uh, let's not forget the um, ASL that Mini won, where it was like a whole, and it was, I think it was actually against Rush, if my memory serves me correctly. He's gonna try to scout this. Okay, so the idea, he, he's actually gonna ditch it, but the idea is you have the SCV mine here, when the Vulture's here, then you tell the SCV to stop, and it glitches the Vulture through over to here. But he sees the pile and he goes, okay, well, I'm not going to just lose my vulture. But yeah, we did have a, a whole season where Mini was doing like, you know, gas steel and Nexus first into, into carrier. It's going to be siege mode coming down. Turrets coming up. And it's going to be a very modest Reaver tech. And I say modest because... It's Observer first. It's actually Shuttle Observer Reaver, which is basically, it's like the most efficient way to get everything out. The, the Shuttle doesn't need any other um, additional Robotech. You can just make it off the bat. And then the Observer is like, well, that's as fast as you can get an Observer out while still getting a Shuttle. So you don't die to mines, you get to scout. And then the Reaver comes right after that. If you've watched a lot of games from a Protoss' perspective, in either PvP or PvT, You'll see it many, many games where it's like, oh, this game, they want to get the uh, Shuttle and Reaver out right away. The other games, they want to get like several Observers and the Shuttle Reaver out. Anyways, very middle of the road play. I like it. Um, no Shuttle speed yet. And this is not a Shuttle um, Reaver for Harass. This is like a combo to fight with. Well, I say that, maybe I'm wrong. He's going to move out. One of the issues you can run into is um, if they actually went for a starport uh, with a Wraith, they'll just kill your shuttle, which is a huge problem. That seemed to be more trendy last year. Maybe that's gone away. You know, so much of this game is kind of understanding the meta, um, you know, along with the maps and, and all that. Another thing to watch out for as well, and not just Wraith, is, is this uh, missile range upgrade, because this just wipes shuttles out. Let's see if this is a good idea or a bad idea. He's gonna come in here now. He does not have the upgrade done yet, but he will. Okay, it's almost done, you're kidding me? Oh! He would have lost that. He would have literally lost that, that's crazy. Okay, he gets the observer instead. Yeah, once the Terran has that missile range upgrade, you do not want to mess around. Forge and a Citadel of a Dune. More gates coming down as well. And is Terran going to actually try to push out on two bases? It looks like he is. The more factories he gets and the lack of a command center really tells me that he is going to look for a fight coming up here. All right, uh, weapons and Zealot Speed are coming. The fourth base is going to be inbound here soon. I don't see a command center. Do you guys see a command center? I do not see one. So we're going to have a push coming up here. By the way, guys, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about these games. Um, 
I want to be putting more and more of these out here. I guess our battle's already going to be starting. You got to be inching back. Now, Protoss didn't really get to deny him from crossing the bridge. A big gun siege here. I'm going to really try to zoom out. And it's really about forcing the Terran to siege up. Use the Dragoons to play keep away. The Reavers up here. Uh, you got to be careful. Oh, these are almost in range. I think if he has vision of this, he could hit these Reavers. Terran's going to keep advancing. Oh my god, these Reavers! Okay, he picks him up. Shuttle speed is done, by the way. So we've got Dragoons down there. Terran continuing to move up over here. Uh, another nice Reaver shot takes the tank out. Keep away continues on. There's more Zealots that have been rallied in over here. Terran hasn't really made any ground yet. He has not been able to cross the bridges, but this is getting scarier and scarier. Rush is going to continue to leapfrog. Where are those Zealots? We need those Zealots to get in the mix with this. Oh, my God. Nice connection there. He takes that out. He does shoot the shuttle down with the Goliaths. Oh, my God. There was a spider mite over there? I didn't even realize that. That's so funny. The Reaver shot down. More Zealots going to come in here for the flank. I just feel like he doesn't have anything up here to take this on. I mean, look at this big picture. Tanks are unseaging. He's going to leave this here. This is a lot to hack and saw your way through. There's still Zealots. There's still a, uh, a Reaver with this. Motive looking pretty flimsy. He's going to try to come in here on the side. And I think he might be able to do it. These are going to go down. And he will be able to take this out, but these vultures are going to come back here and basically fight this, protecting these tanks. Meanwhile, there's been a push up here. This Nexus, he might even need to cancel it, man. I don't know if he can pull this off. Shuttle with a Reaver in it. Let's take a look. Yeah, sh Shuttle, Reaver, two Zealots. I mean, never count out a Shuttle and a Reaver and what it can do, especially when controlled correctly. He is going to land this command center right over here. And I'll tell you what, he didn't actually get in here and take this out. Do we have a Templar Archives? We do. He might want to try making like a DT out of here. Terran is scary and has basically fragmented the Protoss' position. Center control is going to Terran. Um, but I am very scared right now for Motive. This looks like an uncomfortable game for the Protoss. Okay, we've got the Reaver coming down here and hitting this. I didn't even realize this was an exposed position. That shuttle survives, but I mean one missile from a Goliath and that is gone. Oh, this is so funny. This tank is sieged up, but it actually can't hit the pylon. Somehow that pylon is so close the tank can't hit it. That's wild. Um, There's no fifth base yet for Protoss. There's no fourth base for Terran. Terran's continuing to, to muster quite a bit. For as far as upgrades go, we're going to have the armor upgrade coming. It's plus one attack, no armor here. For Protoss, it's plus one attack, no armor here, no shields, nothing. The bridges cannot be bypassed. He can't get through there. Another, oh, he tried to drop the shuttle in the Reaver. Did not work. <coughs> He's gonna mine this out. He probably should have done this a lot earlier. There's a DT here. Kind of crazy to see Rush hasn't really done much with these other units. Oh. And he's going to slowly filter units up to this position over here. A big scan comes in. That's going to wipe that uh, DT out here. There's cannons, but probably just not enough. And that's going to force Motive to try to do something over here. He's going to try to come out and break the middle. He's got a big uh, shuttle play coming through here. Trying to drop on whatever he can. And he's doing it, man. I gotta say, this is this is really cool. Well, hold on. Terran just seems to have pulled back. Well, maybe not, actually. There's this is such a widespread out fight. Keep in mind they can't zoom out at all, right? Like it's gotta be crazy for both sides. There's like screens and screens of battles happening over here. I think that this spread is just good enough for Terran that he's going to be fine. 
Yeah, it seems like he basically melted that. And Protoss probably should have backed up and regrouped. Templars are out here. This feels so late. It feels so late. GG, that's going to be it. Motive taps out. Thank you for watching. I was going to say earlier in the cast, like and subscribe, and then the, the big fight happened. Uh, go to my merch shop, tastelessthreads.com. We got a lot of cool stuff on there. Um, and uh, join me on my Twitch stream where I cast these live with my community. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.